So I was recently playing the Game of Thrones video game because I thought it might make for an interesting video because it's terrible and that would be funny. But as I was playing through it and I got maybe like a half of the way through or maybe a third, I started to realize that this game is fine. <laughs> it's honestly not that good, but it's really not terrible either. It's basically a 5 out of 10, or what I would call a mid-tier garbage video game. And I have to be quite frank, that is the worst thing a game could possibly be. Take for example the game Kingdom Hearts. The first two were exciting and innovative and the story was bad but in a funny good kind of way. But then 15 years after the second one released, we finally got to Kingdom Hearts 3 and I was genuinely excited for it. But as I was playing through the game, also with the intention of making a video on it, I realized it was kind of boring. <laughs> I know that for the Kingdom Hearts super fans out there, that's going to be majorly triggering, so I guess I probably should have put a trigger warning ahead of time, but it's a little too late for that now. But overall, the game feels exactly the same as it did on the PS2, and not in a good way. The game itself was more focused on recapturing the feel of the previous games than it was on doing anything interesting, including the story, which basically was like a filler episode from Dragon Ball Z, which personally, I was not a fan of, except for the one where they learned to drive because that one was hilarious. What all I'm saying is where the fuck is my Dragon Ball Z kart racing video game? I have been waiting for it for so long. Now ultimately the Kingdom Hearts 3 game is the moment where I snapped and realized that I just no longer have the patience for a game like Dragon Age 2 or Aragorn's Quest that's just okay but not good but also not bad. <laughs> If it's not the best game ever made, or the worst game ever made, I just don't give a fuck. For example, in my Two Worlds video, I claimed it was the worst RPG ever made, and quite frankly, I do kind of stick behind that point, because on a technical level, it is a horrible video game. But it is still fun to play, and if I was gonna go back and replay any of the video games that I made a video about, it would probably be that one, because it's just so goofy and broken in a hilarious and terrible way that you get satisfaction out of it in the same way might with something like Elden Ring, which is a 10 out of 10, in my opinion. And I guess what I'm trying to say with this video is that if you ever happen to be making a video game, or a book, or a movie, or whatever the hell, and you know that it's gonna be not that interesting, I highly recommend just doing something really stupid and terrible that'll just make the game worse. <laughs> Because at the very least, you'll be able to get some buzz and interesting eyes on your game because it's so bad. <laughs> if Two Worlds had been more competent and less buggy and janky, I really don't think anybody would be talking about it. It would have come out, people have realized it wasn't that good, and it would have faded into obscurity. But because it was so unbelievably horrible, there is still a dedicated fan base for that game today who cannot wait for Two Worlds 3 which may or may not still be in production. I personally kind of hope it is, because I want to see what the next horrible game <laughs> they make is. Every game they've made has been horrible, and I hope that trend continues. I love it. I hope you enjoyed this rant. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if there was much of a purpose. I just needed to get off my chest how much I fucking hate 5 out of 10 video games. They're, they need to die. If your game is going to be a 5 out of 10, just ruin it so it's bad. <laughs> And at least then I could be mad about it or something. I don't know. All right, I'll see you guys in the next whatever the fuck this is. Goodbye. Oh, no, I can't. My space bar fell off. I can't stop the recording.